what we did is I had a study that was kind of broken down. I looked at patients who received um, ceftazidime avibactam for carbapenem-resistant enterobacteriaceae infections and separately for carbapenem-resistant pseudomonas infections. Um, there were 60 patients included in the CRE portion of the study. Um, that was a multi-center study, so there were nine hospitals that contributed data to this. Um, and in that study, we had a 32% in-hospital mortality rate, which doesn't sound great, um, but in the literature, we see rates up to 60 or even higher percent mor mortality for patients that have these CRE infections. And there's no one drug that's studied in the literature. It's combinations of things. Um, so I guess you could say it's kind of on the lower end of what's been reported, but again, it's small studies. You can't really compare them at this point. Um, in this study, we also had um, we had a lot of severe infections. So a good amount of the patients, over 30%, had bacteremia. Um, another large portion of the patients had pneumonia. <clears throat> a lot of patients were in the ICU as well, so critically ill patients. And a lot of patients were immunosuppressed, so we had patients with a lot of other things going on. Um, <clears throat> so it seems like it's probably an option. Um, for these patients, I don't know that we can say if it should be used on its own or with other things because so many patients in this study were receiving concomitant antibiotics along with this, um, with ceftazidime avibactam. Um, separately, in the study that looked at pseudomonas patients, there were only 10 patients in that study, so even a lot smaller. Um, but it was 20% mortality, so two out of the 10 patients died. Um, and then we had a 50% microbiologic success and 70% clinical success. So the numbers look good, but again, it's only 10 patients. You can't say a whole lot about that at this point. Um, so it does look promising. Um, we're seeing some pretty good results out of that. We did uh, compare patients who were critically ill, so in the ICU, versus patients who were not in the ICU with their mortality rates in the CRE portion of the study. Um, and significantly more of the patients in the ICU had in-hospital mortality versus those who were not. So it may just be that these patients are sicker. It may not necessarily be entirely due to the infection.